Hi there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christine and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you why we chose a modular home over stick built home. When you first learn about a modular home, you think, oh my gosh, this could be like the answer. You know, you start reading things that it's the exact same thing as a stick built home. It's just done in half the time and it sounds really juicy and awesome and amazing. That's what we thought too. But um, I guess I should back up a little bit. We moved to back to my hometown a little over three years ago, and we had decided that we knew exactly where we wanted to live. We had the land, we knew exactly where we wanted to put it, and we were gonna raise our family there, and it's all be hunky dory, fabulous, and wonderful. We had a house that we wanted in mind. You know, you go on Pinterest and you start looking at it, and you create a board of things that you want, and it's just beautiful and amazing. Then reality sets in whenever you contact a bank to see what they're willing to lend you and then you talk to a contractor to find out what the square footage is per price per square foot and you realize you're not going to be able to afford the house that you want and that is usually when you start looking elsewhere and that's what led us to the modular home route we originally wanted to do a stick built home i had no idea what a modular home was um, it was completely like over my head but after talking to a contractor that we trusted that had built like everything around us like all of our friends and family and um, people that we knew and talked to have been using this company for years they're credible they're awesome recommend that getting somebody that's credible don't just like look on google search somebody or don't just um, pick a random out of the phone book do you guys even still have phone books and just pick some random you need to find talk to anybody and everybody and see who they use if they had a great experience how long they've been in business that type of thing because you can really get screwed over a few things that you want to ask the contractor is what is the, a basic price per square foot home in your area what would they charge and for us it was 110 dollars per square foot for a basic run-of-the-mill no frills basic house and I wanted like all the grand arches, the taller ceilings. I wanted like open and raised here, raised there, higher ceilings here and all that stuff. And that's not what I was going to get. That's really crazy expensive. 110 um, dollars square feet is pretty high here in Louisiana, especially in the country where I was. So that was kind of like, a just like, mm, you're not gonna be able to build your house yet. And that kind of broke my heart then my father-in-law um, mentioned to my husband something about a modular home that my niece-in-law and her husband at the time had gone through the process and decided that that's what they were going to do is build a modular home and they had found a dealer that was really great and that had like a show lot to look at the houses and walk in them and see them the lights will be on it was just like a beautiful experience and yada 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 so we're like hmm and I was, I was like that just doesn't sound that like it's gonna be like a trailer you know I didn't want to spend all this money and buy something that was not gonna last in the long haul I wanted something that was good quality I had envisioned in my head like a house a standard stick built house I was like no we're not gonna do that that's just like the worst idea ever then I went to the show lot we used Tilly's uh, Greg Tilly's in Shreveport we went over there they have a beautiful show lot and it like honestly first impression was like wow this looks amazing this is a great idea I mean Let's think about it a little bit more to make sure and let's try to do some more research, which there's not that much research, or at least at the time, three years ago, there was not much out there, especially for this area, because northern uh, modular homes are completely different than southern modular homes. I'm starting to find out. I gathered all this information from online, things that I, questions I had that weren't really adding up, and I had a list and I called dealer and asked them all the questions. They had no idea, really. It was just kind of like, oh, 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 huh, what? Like they had literally had no idea. And that should have been the first. I just saw it was like to that one salesman was just horrible. No, none of them had any idea. And honestly, my father-in-law was very convincing. He was just like, it's just like a stick built home. Like he was listening to what the salesman were. He was feeding it back to us. Like it just sounds so great. Y'all need to do this. It's amazing. It's done half the time. Like why would you not? It's like the new thing. Um, people aren't really doing stick builds anymore. They're doing modular like that. That's what we were fed. And so I was very skeptical and I just kept like, mm, let's just not do this. Like that just doesn't sound right. I don't know enough about it. I've never been in one before. Like it just sounds so interesting. Now what I had kind of connected it with, like in New Orleans after Katrina, they started putting up houses that were like, were bringing up, like they would build the walls 
deliver it, build um, the roof part, deliver it, not build half the house and deliver it that way. So you wanna see my entire experience with the whole modular home thing. Um, I have a video dedicated to that, specifically asking all of your most asked questions about it, price, where we got it, who was the builder, who was the dealer, um, how much everything actually cost, um, every single thing about the delivery, after living in it, all of those things can be found in that video. So click in the info cards up here or um, find it in the description below. One thing that can started bills turning in my head and me getting excited and wanting to do the modular route was whenever I heard the price for square footage of the home that we were looking at. And it was $65 a square foot for the house we're looking at. And I was like, how is it so cheap? You know, all this stuff, like I don't get it. I explained it that it was that much cheaper because the people that were building the houses on the assembly line weren't having to go to another location to build the house. And there were no, there weren't gonna be any weather delays or anything going wrong because they built those houses a hundred times over and they know what to expect when building it. There won't be any, uh-oh, we forgot you needed this whole wall done like this. It's gonna be another $50,000. Like that's not gonna happen. So that's how they explained that it was like half the cost from of price per square foot versus building it. So I was like, that makes so much sense. Like when someone tells you that, it's like, that makes so much sense. Thinking, wow, this really could be an option for us. Maybe it is not, maybe it's not too good to be true. So we ended up driving to Shreveport from Monroe, which are actually north of Monroe, about six or eight times just to visit the lot and walk through the houses, make sure we're doing the right thing to talk in person to salesmen and just kind of lay our eyes on it to make sure that's the right choice. And we landed on the house that we wanted, we loved, is actually one that we said absolutely did not want at the beginning, but we ended up being really happy with the layout and the floor plan that we wanted. So whenever you're looking at modular home and stick built, you can, with modulars for most people, you can pick the layout that you have for the stick build that you were gonna build or whatever layout you found online, and they can build it to the modular specs. It's gonna take a lot longer a lot longer, probably a little bit longer than building a stick built home, um, but they can do it for you. If you choose something they have on the lot or something on their website that has the floor plan, then it'll be done faster, much faster, as quick as they say it's gonna be there, it'll be, give it a few, month or two and it'll be there because they've built it before, you know, and they have everything laid out, it's just kind of like a, easy, faster process instead of them having to figure out measurements and cuts and things like that. Another thing you can do, you can choose a layout that they have already on hand and say, I want to add a bathroom. I want this room over here. I want the floor plan completely switched over. I want more windows over here. It, all that will cost more. Moving stuff around won't, but adding things will. So if your model doesn't have a fireplace, add $5,000 on and they'll add you a fireplace. If you need another bathroom, add 5,000 on there, need another bedroom, add 5,000 on there. The mix of trying to figure out if we wanna do modular or not, we're also looking at a quicker, cheaper, stick-built home option. And that, the thing that came up the most was United Built Homes. And it was exciting, you could look on their website, see a bunch of um, different floor plans, the way the houses look on the outside. And there are actually a few of those in our area of the exact houses that were on um, their website and it looked really cool. However, we started hearing stories about how just a few weeks later, people's houses completely split open, split out, because they would go through contractors like crazy, constantly, didn't know what they were doing, um, they were in need of a contractor, so they just quickly hire somebody that didn't know, you know, a hammer from a screwdriver. Everything we heard about them, nothing was positive. So if you have decided to go the modular route or you decide to go with United, United Built, you wanna make sure that the company you're going with, the specific like chain or whatever it is that you're going with has reviews out on it. There's not any reviews, that's an issue. To be able to find something on Better Business Bureau, Facebook, anywhere, there should be a lot of reviews out there. Our case, we didn't have any and I was like, oh, maybe they're just so good or people just don't know to write reviews. Like I was so ignorant at the point. People write reviews if they're super happy or they're super angry or they're getting something free to write the review. So yeah, there's gonna be reviews out there. 
not a single company in the world is gonna have 100% positive reviews, but there will be companies with a ton of bad reviews. So what really got us was that the price was right. We hadn't heard anything bad about modular homes. I hadn't read anything bad about modular homes and it just seemed like the right fit. And another thing that helped decide it was that we could go to the lot and we could see the house. I could walk in the house and try to envision our family growing up there and my daughter could run around in it. I could really get a good visual of what we were buying and what was gonna be built for us. So it just, everything, it just kind of spoke to me. Just like, it was nice because I can really envision myself anywhere, but if you give me something to envision myself in, I'm gonna choose it every time. But like I said before, the experience video is out there to go find, peruse and look at. You can also see our process going seeing our house before delivery so you see the showroom and you see the lot where the house was before we purchased them to build one for us you get to see the process after the house was delivered when they just piece it together and walking inside you can see us living in it for a few for the months that we were there and before the furniture and everything like that came in. Everything's down there in the description you can check out. If I had to do it all over again, which I would never do modular home again, just from our experience, stick built's not easy either. You're gonna, you can easily get a really crappy contractor that can skip town, you'd be left with this horrible mess. You can, like so many things can happen. Um, honestly, I think stick built home is a little more stressful, even though you're involved in the building process of your modular home, um, it's, you're more involved with the stick built. Like you can go visit the site every single day and see it slowly be being built. With a modular home, you clear the land, lay, uh, do the foundation, and then you just wait. And they have to seam it up and get everything ready for you to move in. Uh, but it's still a process. It's still such a huge process. But just read reviews, guys. Talk to people that you know people that you know know ask do you have a friend's cousin sister's brother's nephew niece married to so and so what did they do <laughs> you know like go down the line it's okay to go down the line just to get answers for making sure you're making the right choice but anyways guys that's all I have for right now if you have any questions any more questions leave them down below if you have any experiences with a stick build or a modular home please let everybody know down below because Whoever's clicking on this video is trying to decide what they should do, stick build or modular, or if either of them are an option for them. It'll be hugely appreciated. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Good luck on your journey. Congratulations on trying to build your future. Building a home is such a scary yet amazing stressful process and it should not be taken lightly. Follow me over on Instagram. I post on there every single day, do Instagram stories. I'm a little bit on Instagram TV. That's the fastest way to get answers from me through direct message or even under posts. I will definitely see them. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Bye.